Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject power system analysis and uh, uh, today uh, we are going to discuss some problems from the module 3. Okay, so in the previous video we have uh, discussed one problem based on the bus admittance matrix and here uh, we are having another type of problem. So determine the bus admittance matrix of the system whose reactance diagram is shown in figure. The current and admittances are given in per unit. Determine the reduced bus admittance metrics after eliminating node 3. Okay, so as per the uh, given figure, we are having four nodes 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so using these four nodes, first we have to uh, find the uh, basic bus admittance matrix. Okay, and uh, uh, from that we have to eliminate the node 3. Okay, node 3 and we have to find the new bus admittance matrix. Okay, so uh, for uh, creating the first uh, bus admittance matrix, okay, we know uh, the matrix equation for the bus admittance matrix that is y11, yn2, yn3, yn4, y22, uh, y21, y22, y23, y24 like that. We have to find each and every element. So uh, here we know that the diagonal elements are given by the sum of the all elements connected to the corresponding bus or node. Okay. So uh, like that we can find each and every element. So first we are considering the node 1. So here the connected uh, admittance are minus j2, minus j2, minus j1. So the sum will be uh, 2, 2, 2 plus 2 plus 1, 5. So minus, we will get minus j5. The first element will be minus j5. Then for finding the element y12, we have to find the common element between 1 and 2. Okay, so here between 1 and 2, there is a not a common element, so we are treating it as 0. Okay, and uh, y13, in between y, uh, 1 and 3, there is minus j2. So minus of minus j2, we will get it is j2. Okay, and uh, between 1 and 4, we are having this minus j1. So minus of minus j1, we are having j1. Okay, so uh, the di uh, how can we find the di uh, diagonal elements? It is uh, written here, and how can we find all other elements? It is written here. Okay, so based on that, we can find each and every element here. And after that, we have to eliminate the node three. Oh, okay, node three. So for that, we have to uh, first. Okay, first we have to eliminate the row. That is uh, for eliminating the node three or bus three. Uh, we have to interchange the row 3 and the row 4 first and after that we have to interchange column 3 and column 4 okay so uh, first we have interchanged the uh, row 3 and row 4 okay so this is row 3 and row 4 these are interchanged and we got the new uh, y bus matrix as like this after that we have to interchange the column 3 and column 4 okay so this is the matrix after we obtain by interchange the column 3 and column 4 here it is a column 3 so it is here okay so column 3 and column 4 are interchanged okay so after that we have to eliminate the fourth row okay so for uh, eliminating the node 3 okay after all these transformations and all uh, we have to eliminate the fourth row and fourth column of this matrix okay that is we have to actually we are doing the procedure of eliminating the node 4 okay so for for that we know the equation is like this okay already we have shown the equation y j k n is equal to y j k minus y j n y n k by y n okay so if you want to eliminate the y 1 1 okay uh, here n is equal to 4 we are going to eliminate the fourth row and fourth column so uh, small n is equal to 4 j can be 1 2 3 and k can be 1 2 3 like that okay so y 1 1 so here j is equal to 1 okay j is equal to 1 and uh, k is equal to 1 and n is equal to 4 so uh, uh, equation will be yjk yjk means y11 y11 minus yjn yjn means y14 then ynk ynk means y41 by ynn means y44 okay all these these are all the elements in from the previous uh, bus admittance matrix okay so by substituting that we will get the new y11 value okay then the y12 okay if you are finding the value of y12 we know that the value of j is equal to uh, sorry uh, j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4 okay so uh, y12 okay here uh, yjk y12 then yjn means yjn means y14 so it will here it comes y14 and yn k means y42 here it comes y42 then yn is y44 
so by substituting the elements we will get the y12 so like that we will get all other all other elements so after finding y12 so y12 will be equal to y21 that we know okay and uh, y13 is equal to y31 okay so like that so it, likewise we can find each and every element after that we have to write the new admittance matrix as y bus is equal to okay y11 new that is minus j 4.556 then y12 new is equal to 0 y13 is equal to j 2.111 okay like that we can substitute in the each and every element so we will get the admittance matrix after eliminating the node 3 okay so i hope all of you understand the simple problem well uh, so thank you.